it's an extraordinary moment to enter into a partnership with the Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation, which holds uh, one of, if not the most astounding, uh, collections devoted to a major creator of architecture in the 20th century. Bringing the Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation collection to the Museum of Modern Art and Columbia University is extraordinary. It places one of the most important bodies of work of a major architect in the United States at a central location in New York accessible to scholars and the public alike through the university and through the museum and will be transformative for both of our organizations. The Wright Archives is um, singularly important in the history of American architecture if not um, the history of modernism uh, in all fields of art and design and architecture worldwide. He is not only significant for the exquisitely beautiful work that was produced um, by Mr. Wright and his studio, um, but also for his vision. And that vision embraced a number of um, practices, philosophies, and design elements that we are just now realizing in the 21st century in, in large part. The Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation will be working with our friends here at Columbia University and the Museum of Modern Art with this particular archives. The archives includes over 23,000 original drawings. It includes letters, it includes correspondence, it includes other paper materials. It also includes dozens of models that Frank Lloyd Wright created of the buildings before he actually put them together. And certainly they represent a core piece of, of who we are as Americans. But it's also just remarkable art that when you look at it, it is moving. When I first started thinking about architecture, I mean, it, was, it was Frank Lloyd Wright, I think, that, that provided the entree uh, for me as a, as a way in which to really understand architecture and society. People have an instinct for understanding um, their physical environment. And they have an instinct, I think, and a set of intuitions about what their physical environment says about the society. So it's a very good way for institutions that, say, like Columbia, are very scholarly, to also engage with the wider public. So it, it, it really is a very nice combination of, of opportunities here. I think the most exciting part of this partnership is that it's the best possible way for the foundation to accomplish its mission to increase access to this remarkable body of work. The foundation also continues to conserve and maintain Taliesin and Taliesin West, two National Historic Landmarks and all of their contents, and continues to do very active programming to celebrate and put forward the ideas and philosophies and, and body of work of Frank Lloyd Wright. This collection can both be displayed to a very, very broad public, but also made accessible to researchers. And in both cases, at the museum and in the library, Frank Lloyd Wright is entering into conversation with a whole new set of people. During the course of our conversations with Columbia University, what emerged was such a similar sense of mission that we're both institutions absolutely located in the city of New York and they couldn't exist in a way anywhere but the city of New York. And yet we both have a global perspective. We both understand that our role and our responsibilities extend across the world. Frank Lloyd Wright's been in the core curriculum for decades at Columbia and uh, he of course uh, had one of his greatest shows at the Museum of Modern Art. So this is a real boon to think that these models that represent his buildings with their roofs that come off so that you can look in, understand how they uh, work, will be uh, accessible on a regular basis to visitors to the Museum of Modern Art, but also to Columbia, Columbia first year and second year students in their art humanities course who have just been studying the Roby House and other buildings by Frank Lloyd Wright. So if you want to think about 20th century architecture, but more importantly if you want to think about 20th century life in America, and then you want to think about where the world is going using that as a foundation uh, for that. There's just no better place to start than Frank Lloyd Wright, Columbia, MoMA, and the foundation. The work of Frank Lloyd Wright, Frank Lloyd Wright the person and his creative genius is an element of national treasure. And the responsibility for that legacy and for celebrating that legacy um, is best shared across our three organizations.